afternoon and welcome to our flying adventures. It's all about the journey. I'm a bit under the weather today, as you can tell by my voice. I'm a little bit hoarse. It's uh, overcast and rainy here in Ocean City, Maryland, and I think I caught a little bit of a chest cold. But let's move on. I received a, a comment about uh, a how to on the GPS 480. A different scenario to work through. The request was to flight plan to an airport with an arrival. For example, Bravo Delta November to Papa Alpha Echo. And the only waypoint was the Olympia VOR, Oscar Lima Mike. The arrival, I'm sorry, the arrival is programmed from Olympia. VOR, which is not a choice on the GPS 480 simulator. But the viewer says the arrival isn't flown, we get vectors instead. Well, if, uh, a review of the uh, Olympia 2 arrival takes you to uh, Olympia, then Lacey, then Harvard, I think, and Fort, and then radar vectors. So that's correct unless they received radar vectors immediately at Olympia. And that's okay too, we can work through that. Now, the GPS 480 remains uh, set with the Olympia 2 arrival. We'll, we'll also address that. Once you have vectors, you're gonna turn off your GPS steer and fly to heading bug, or as my sundowner days, I never had an autopilot, so I would bug up the DG and off I went. We'll take a look at that when we open up the sim. So we're going to try and work through this scenario and see what we can uh, clarify for myself and for the uh, viewer. I love getting these scenarios that I can work through stuff and, and learn new things. Okay, here we go. Here we are flying along. Again, I'm not going to start back at BDN, Bend, Oregon. I'm going to start at Onals, Oscar November, Alpha, Lima, Sierra, just to shorten the time. We are direct to Olympia VOR, Oscar, Lima, Mike, as you can see right here. And then direct Papa Alpha Echo. Now, I'm not sure in the request that I got when I read it if the arrival was part of the clearance or add it to the clearance. So let's just go add that in just to see how to do it. We're going to go to flight plan. Edit. No, we're not going to do that. Okay, let's go to Procedure. And at PAE, Papa Alpha Echo, we want to add an arrival. And it's going to be the Olympia 2. It starts at uh, Battleground VR, Bravo Tango Golf, but we're going to pick it up at Olympia, Oscar Lima Mike. Now we want to go to runway 34. Okay, they got 34 Bravo on. The database is old. Okay, so here we select it, Olympia 2, runway 34, and as you can see, this is battleground. Uh, VOR, Olympia, then I believe that's Lacey, Arvard, and Fort. Let's make that selection with the Enter. Okay, let's expand this. Once we get to Olympia, we're going to fly the Olympia 2 arrival. We're going to have bearing 024 degrees to Lacey. Then Arvid, 
Let's scroll down. Lacey, Harvard, Fort, and then vectors to PAE. And as we saw in the Olympia 2 arrival, that is correct. So let's execute this. Yes. It's going to take a little time here because we're so far away. There we go. We're about 10 miles out from Olympia. And as you can see right here, there's Lacey. There's our first point. So we're going to fly this. As we approach, the request said that even though they had the arrival programmed, and again, I'm not sure if it was part of the clearance or added on afterwards, but the arrival isn't flown, that they get vectors instead. So that's okay. We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and we'll, sh we'll show you how we can uh, eliminate that. But it doesn't hurt. Once you get to Olympia, disable the GPS steer on your autopilot, and just fly the heading bug. Whatever. Once you turn at Olympia to a zero two four heading, and then they start giving you vectors. Use the heading bug. Uh, on your autopilot and fly that or if like my sundowner for nine years I flew everything by hand I had no autopilot you know bug up your DG and go and uh, you'll fly it that way you do not have to remove that flight plan <clears throat> it'll stay active as you fly past it even if you're not on that track or you can remove it if you'd like to we'll go through and work that then I think it's uh, the, the request said, then the approach GPS to 3-4, and then they got vectors for the approach. So we can go load that, just in case. Say it's instrument conditions. We'll go and load that. Okay, here we are, just about five miles out from Olympia. As you can see down in our routing, ONALs, which I use to replace BDN, just to shorten this up a little bit, to OLM Olympia, then it's going to be a right turn to Lacey. Now, you can go into the flight plan. And before that leg is highlighted, if you want to remove the arrival, You will have to click on edit. Hi, uh, cursor down, highlight OLM2 and clear it. We're about, uh, about a mile and three quarters out from Olympia. About 30 seconds. We're going to get a note here to make that turn to Lacey. We'll get the notice like the Garmin 480 typically gives us. So here we are getting the notice. Right turn to track 024 now. We're going to Lacey. And then shortly after we make this, ATC is going to start giving us radar vectors instead. Now, why they would want to do that, I guess for traffic maybe, whatever the reason. If not, you're, they're going to give you radar vectors once you come off of this arrival. Here we are. You see the leg hit uh, lit up for Lacey. So it's going to go Lacey, Harvard, as you can see there's the next one right there. And then Fort. And then from Fort they're going to give you radar vectors anyway. So now you're flying along and uh, let's say we're sticking with, not to be confusing but I guess it is, um, we're sticking with the arrival, we're flying along. Uh, Commander 453, Tango Charlie, Expect GPS runway 34 at uh, Papa Alpha Echo. Okay, cool. So we're flying this arrival. So we just got our approach. Let's go to procedures. Papa Alpha Echo. You can see the arrivals loaded. Let's load an approach. 
we want three, four left. Now, they're going to give you, right now you're on vectors, and that's probably what you're going to get to get in there. I don't like using vectors. But this will show you the extended center line or the extended approach, and it'll bring the GPS approach alive for LNAV and VNAV. It's always against my better judgment because I've been bitten a few times from Philly. Actually, once from Dover and once from, once from Philly. When you change sectors, the next guy's not giving you radar vectors. They're giving you a point to fly to. So now you got to go find the point and load that approach that shows that. That's why I always load a full approach. So you have vectors. You can start at the PAE VOR. This is where the hold starts, the procedure turn or hold. I think it's the procedure turn there. You can leave that in. Uh, or you can have everything in there and and load from the Seattle VR back. Doesn't mean you have to go there. It means that all the points are in. But for keeping it simple, we'll leave it on vectors. Again, against my better judgment, I don't do this. Unless it's a VFR day, then I'll select vectors because it just lights up the final and makes it easier to line up on a new airport for me. But other than that, that's not my choice. But everybody's different. A lot of people tell me, yeah, you should never, uh, you should never say never when it comes to using vectors to final. To each their own. All right, let's go back to the map. Wait a minute, we better select this first. Let's, uh, that's the one we want. So now it takes you back to your flight plan. We're going to scroll through that. Oh, and we're flying. Right now we are flying. You can see right here we're flying the Lacey to Arvin leg. Then we're going to get to Fort. And from Fort, we're going to do the RNAV GPS 3-4 left approach. which is going to be vectors to the final USDAW. You see the small lowercase f there? That's your final. It's going to take you right down to the runway. OK. Let's get back to, uh, let's execute first. All right, so everything's in there, and you can see it. At the destination, you're flying the Olympia II. And then you have the RNAV GPS 3-4 left selected with vectors. Now we go back. Got to make sure you execute. So we're flying the next leg. Now, at any time, they could start giving you vectors. Okay, fly the vectors. Disconnect the uh, autopilot GPSS. Fly the heading bug. Or like I said earlier in my sundowner, bug up the DG and have at it. They're going to vector you right to that approach. I hope this helped in some way. You can, uh, I, I could have deleted that. Uh, Olympia 2 arrival, if I did it before we reached that point, but I did not. And for the simple reason, it's not hurting anything. You still have all these points that lead you towards the airport. Doesn't matter if you're flying a different heading that you're given uh, as radar vectors the map's still gonna cycle through. And then you can go select whatever you need to if they decide, you know what, something happened at the airport, we need you to hold at Arvin, or we need you to go back and hold at Lacey. They could put you to any one of those points and you still have them in your fly, flight plan. Just something to think about. Just because you get the radar vectors does not mean you have to delete that. You're still gonna fly the plane. Okay, any questions, comments, leave them down below and hopefully I've tried to answer the original question. 
if I missed by a mile, <laughs> leave me a comment, Gary, and I'll uh, I'll get back and try and clear it out, fix whatever I missed or whatever I interpreted wrong. All right, thanks for watching. Everybody take care. Fly safe. Keep proficient.